Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can measure pretty much almost any sound frequency. This is a great way to find out, for example, if your tuning fork or pitchfork is in tune. You can also experiment with uh, like Tibetan bowls, for example, to see if they uh, are what they claim to be. Or if you want to do some kind of music sound experiment, to see if your keyboard, for example, is to tuned to 432 hertz frequency, the note A. And over here, it's, it's actually pretty easy to do so if you know which app to download. So there's basically two apps that I use and they're both free. One is called Fine Tuner over here and the other one is called the N-Track Tuner. And they're both pretty good. They're a little bit different, but they basically do the same thing. So let's start with the fine tuner. We're going to open it up over here in the settings. You can actually go to settings and you can set your A to 432 hertz, which is pretty nice. And then I set for this particular experiment showcase, I sh set it to auto. Uh, that way it's going to uh, just kind of allocate which note the frequency over here belongs to. So as you see, as I'm speaking, it's actually picking up my frequencies and it's allocating which notes and which frequencies I'm producing with my vocals. So for the purpose of this experiment, we're going to test the frequency of a pitchfork, which I have right here. This pitchfork, as you can see, is supposed to be tuned to 432 hertz frequency so let's see how well it does over here try again 433 so as you can see it, the pitchfork is a little bit sharp so again it's one or two hertz above what it claims to be 433 yeah, so about 1 hertz above 432. So it's a little bit off. That's pretty close though. Okay, let's check out the other app real quick. So we're going to open up the N-Track Tuner. So again, it's picking up my voice right here. And it's allocating it to which note it resonates with and how close it is. So if it's in the middle, that means it's pretty close to the particular note in the 432 hertz scale. So here we go. And you can see the frequency it's showing on the bottom right here, as well as the actual note. Let's try again. So it's actually resonating at 432.7. So that's pretty close but it's a little bit sharp by a factor of 0.7. So no wonder the other app was showing 433. It was just rounding off to 433 from 432.7. Okay. And just for fun, like I was saying, you can, you can test any kind of frequencies. So let's... Um, Let's test this wine glass, empty wine glass, resonating at the note E at 666 hertz. That's funny. So as we know, the note E resonates at 666 hertz when the note A is tuned to 444 hertz. Let's check the other app. Here we go. Yep, 333 hertz uh, and 666 hertz. So that's definitely a note E resonating in a scale when the note A or La is tuned to 444 hertz. So yeah, make sure you check carefully which frequencies you're tuning to because you don't want to tune to the wrong frequency in my opinion 666 hertz is mark of the beast frequency 
correlating with the 444 hertz frequency thanks for watching and until next time